Hi everybody! I've been getting a ton of emails from subscribers and people who are watching YouTube. Thank you for watching Mango and Blueberries videos. And I've been asked over and over again how I train my birds. I know I've been giving a series of how to do things, but it's all tying in to how I train them. For this video, I'm going to talk about toys and their environment. Toys are very important for these birds. It stimulates them. They need to play, they need to think, and they need to exercise. Yes, Blueberry. Blueberry is Mango's brother, and this is Mango, and he is talking while I'm talking. Well, he's talking away. What are you saying? You want to say hi to everybody? Hi, baby. But anyway, getting back to um, toys. Some people think toys are useless, but it's not. It stimulates the birds, and a lot of them, what I buy, it also brings out their intelligence. Just for example, this is Chickadee. This yellow bird is a candy dispenser. It's not a bird toy, but I found that it's safe. It has no sharp corners, it simulates Mango, and this toy happens to be Mango's favorite toy, Chickadee. He knows how to activate Chickadee by pushing on it, pouncing on it. Once he knocks it over, he rocks on it. So he knows how to activate the toy. So it, it stimulates them. It stimulates their curiosity in playing and to learn. So toys are very important. Make sure they're non-toxic. And these are candy dispensers that I bought from the store. These are wind-up eggs from Easter. This is a baby toy. And this is a toy for kids. And same thing here. This tree house is a toy. Mango loves music, so that's why I've always bought interactive toys that he can push and pull and activate himself. This toy is a tree house. It has music. So I like play school toys and Fisher Price toys because their colors and their rounded edges are very safe for human toddlers. So same thing, if it's safe enough for toddlers, it's safe enough for birds. And these are some trains. This is Fisher Price trains, one for Mango or one for Blueberry. And Mango knows how to activate this Chucha train. He would stomp on this and I would give him a ride. He would stand in the back over here and the train would go forward. So we have lots of fun and I train my birds how to do tricks, talk, and tame them through playing. So that's why toys are very important. Hi Mango! And also this place is his scratching post too. As you can see he's rubbing his head. So lots of toys for your birds. Keep them occupied. Keep, keep them safe. What did Mango say? Are you talking? Can you say that one more time? Hi, baby. Can you say that one more time? Okay, I'm in the back of the playset. What's Mango saying? What did Mango say? Let's watch TV. Did you say let's watch TV? Yeah, so having lots of toys and activities with them throughout the whole day stimulates them. Stimulates them so they could want to learn. And they get lots of exercise. That's part of a healthy bird. Hi, baby. It's time to eat, right? Yeah, Blueberry's eating. Hi, Blueberry. Time to eat. Good boy. See, Mango knows when he's hungry, he goes back to his cage, and he knows how to eat. And they get along so well. Mango knows that Blueberry's eating. He would not push him off the cup. 
There are lots of toys on the market for birds. We got the swings. Swings are very important. This is Mango's cage, and Mango swing is his bed. He goes on the swing every night to go to sleep. So there are toys that are mirrored. I did not give them mirror toys until Mango was probably six to nine months old. Because I've read that if the bird sees another bird in the mirror, they would not give you the undivided attention. So be very careful if you want your bird to talk. Avoid mirrors for the first six months at least until you can get the bird to talk. Because once they bond with that mirror, they will not give you the undivided attention. But anyway, mirrors, when they reach adult age, are fun. Disco ball here. We have a guitar in the back with pull strings. Some bells attached. A mirror clock. And then we have some beaded rainbows perch with a little bell. So bells. A cuddle bone. It's not a toy, but it's essential to their health. Let's get calcium. And another mirror toy that they can climb. This is actually a cockatiel perch. So different diameter perches are good. A little ball. I like to spin this. You can mix and match the, the toys like this bungee cord. I twisted it into a spiral. I put another toy in between. So whatever imagination you have. You could put the toys underneath a table like I did. Backing out. This is a table. That I put the cages on. And underneath, I've hung swings, toys, so it's a playground for them. Another swing, another type of swing, a rope swing. Bells. Wooden balls. The wooden balls, my birds don't care for that much. Another mirror toy, or this one. Mango knows how to unleash it from the top and he throws it to the bottom imagine imagine that he can release this toy real easy he's pretty smart the another toy mango likes to spin this mirror he spins the mirror with his foot and then again different toys these are baby toys baby cell phone toys this is blueberry cell phone and this is Mango cell phone. Yeah, this baby toys. I know it's yours. I know it's yours. And then this is a baby toy. You push it. Actually, Mango knows how to activate it. Pulls his tail and he plays music. These are candy suspensors again. We got for Christmas. This was a candy holder. R two D two. A dog. A little dog. It's actually child toys. Candy suspenser again. And this we got from a, one of those expo shows for electronics. This is actually one of the ferret toys. So I go into different sections. Could be a dog toy. Oh, this was a dog toy. Yeah, this could be a swing for them too. But they never went on it because they got scared of it. But now they're just kissing their beak with the ducky swing. Okay, so um, you could make your own toys. And on the floor, we have a disco ball chain, which is one of Mango's favorite. It's actually a keychain. It's shiny. He likes to play with it. He drags it. He throws it from the playset, and he drags it on the floor. See, you can see it's really far. Mango, you want to get the disco ball? Show everyone how you get the disco ball. See, he grabs the disco ball and he's going to talk. Very good. And where is it? You threw it on the on the treehouse. You want to go get it? You threw it on the treehouse. Hmm? This is the treehouse. You want to go get it? Yep, it's on the treehouse. Go get it. Very good. Go get it.
Go get it. See, this stimulates them. And that's part of my training. Very good, Mango. There goes Blueberry. He's stimulated. You want to play too, huh? Go get the disco ball. Can Mango get the disco ball? It's on top of the treehouse roof. Yeah. And Blueberry. This is Blueberry. You want to go get the big ball? This big ball is a cat toys. It's much bigger than their body, but they like to play with it too. Blueberry, go get the ball. Can Blueberry go get the ball? Mango's busy with the disco ball. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for viewing.